Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. Today I'll be adding additional local I.O. to the SysMac NX1P by going online with SysMac Studio and doing a compare and merge function. The hardware that I'll be using today is shown here. You'll notice that the items in red with asterisk require an I.O. power supply unit such as an NXPF 0630 for the local I.O. This chart here shows when you are required to have an NXPF unit for local I.O. for the NX1P. You'll notice the columns on the left require the NXPF unit and the ones on the right do not require the NXPF unit. I've opened up SysMac Studio and I'm going to create a new project for my controller which is an NX1P2 and I'll select the specific model which is the 9024DT1 which is 24 IO 14 in and 10 out. I'll click create and I'll go to configuration and setup and controller setup and here I'm gonna see the IP address of my controller 192.168.250.1 that's the default address and I'm going to come over to controller communication setup and I've got a hub in this instance and I'll put in that IP address 192.168.250.001 check my communications tests OK I'll click OK I am now going to go online with a controller and I'll come over to my CPU rack and I'm going to do a compare and merge with actual unit configuration and what it did it went out to see what local IO I had and down here is the local IO that it saw and this is the original configuration and I'll click apply actual unit configuration and then click OK I'll now go offline I'll come over to the IO map and I am going to create device variables now and the device variables will allow me to use the I.O. in my PLC program. So I could type in variable names based on the description of how they'll be used or I can just come over here and right mouse click and hit create device variable and then I'll do the same thing down here and I've created my various device variables I'll now go online with my controller and I'm going to download this to the controller because this has all the new variable names and I am done and now I can come over and I can I'm going to come down to the outputs and force the outputs on we can see I've got a OC2633 which is a two-point relay output and I'm just going to type in true here and I can hear the little relay clicking on and I'll do true here as well so my IO is working correctly that is how to do a compare and merge for local IO with the NX1P